You spent a lot of time building a brand that you're passionate about, and all you want is to give customers a great experience. Despite all that effort, you'll inevitably have angry customers. And trust, they will tell you they're angry. You should never let one angry customer ruin your day, but you should take them seriously. Did you know that 48% of customers with a negative experience shared it with over 10 people? That's 10 plus potential customers lost just because of one bad experience. Ultimately, you should work toward a shopping experience that doesn't piss too many people off. But that is for another video. For now, we put together this guide to help you with damage control the next time you get a nasty message. Before your next angry email comes in, go back through your messages and look for patterns that lead to angry customers. Are lots of people complaining about slow shipping, issues with packaging, your customer service? Write out helpful, on-brand responses to the most common types of issues so your team has a head start the next time you get an email. Okay, you just got an email. Before you start typing up a response, take the time to digest their issue and let the initial emotions pass. Sometimes the issue is simple. Other times, customers have a bunch of convoluted complaints that you need to sort out. Consider opening a separate text document or a note on the ticket in your help desk and make a list of the issues you need to address in your response. Next, you wanna get the full context of the problem. Start with the customer. Do they have any pending orders, past ones? Are they an active subscriber? Have they left positive reviews in the past or are they first time shoppers? You could collect all of this in a document, but a help desk will collect it all for you in convenient customer profiles. Next, research the issue. Check to see whether their complaint is accurate. If it is, look into why it happened. Maybe your manufacturer or shipping carrier had issues, or maybe your product team can help you pinpoint what went wrong. What you learn here will help you create a response that's actually helpful. Enough preparation. Let's get down to what to say. In your response, the first thing you want to do is thank them for writing. This helps you reset the tone of the conversation as positive and let them know you appreciate the feedback. You're taking them seriously, not just trying to brush them off. Addressing someone by their name seems like a simple tip, but I can't stress enough the importance of making sure your customers, especially angry customers, feel seen, heard, and validated. If you're using a help desk, all of your customer info should be easily accessible. Be sure to use it. Make sure you acknowledge their issue. Customer messages can be confusing. So restating the issue, make sure you accurately understood what went wrong and why they're angry. You could also add a few words letting them know that you see why that's frustrating and it's not the quality of service you strive to provide. If a customer cares enough to reach out about a problem, the main thing they want is an answer and usually a refund. Be clear and concise with the solution. That might be a refund, information about their order status, or a discount on their next purchase. It could even be an update to your website if they thought a product description was misleading. If a problem is out of your power to resolve, check your company's protocol to resolve the issue and escalate accordingly. Put it all together. Using all the tips together, we wrote a sample email just to show you how it's done. And for the sake of this video, we'll say we're replying to someone named Kevin. Hey Kevin, thanks for writing in. I'm so sorry to hear about the mix up and lack of response about your refund. We've been dealing with some chaos because of delays due to the weather. Regardless, we really dropped the ball here. I'm gonna talk with the team about how we can handle mistakes like this better in the future. The good news is that I just refunded your most recent order to your card ending in 5555. Let me know if you still don't see it in the next 24 hours. Also, I see your subscription is slotted to ship out on Monday, January 23rd. Do you still want us to send that out? Thanks for being such a great customer. We appreciate your loyalty. Even if Kevin never places another order, an email like this is your best shot of stopping people like him from spreading bad word of mouth about your brand. It may even be enough to reverse the damage and get him back on your brand's good side. I hope this was helpful. Be sure to check out our full article on how to respond to angry customer emails. You'll find many more tips, plus a bunch of templated responses we put together for the most common issues online stores usually face. If you like this content, please do us a favor. Be sure to hit the like button and also subscribe so you stay up to date on all our latest content. Till next time.